hello my dear friends welcome again to another tutorial in today's video we are going to look at how to check the health of your hard drive or ssd drive i'll leave the software link in the description below for downloading or you can follow my googling step to download it yourself After the download, run the application to install the software. After installation, the software automatically starts up, or you can run it from the desktop. Please note that there are many ways to check the health status of your hard drive, but this software is just a awesome and gives you adequate information about your drive. If your hard drive health is 100%, then it is in a perfect condition. Anything below 100% means you need to consistently monitor your drive to avoid deterioration and data loss. Please, if you notice any further reduction in the health of your hard drive, please try as much as possible to start backing up important information from your hard drive to avoid data corruption. Let me demonstrate the effect of data corruption on a failing drive. Failing drive simply means that there are bad sectors on a drive. Bad sectors are just like scratches on a CD or DVD. They can affect information and can cause data corruption. This is a failing drive of about 1 terabyte. You can see the health status of this drive has dropped to about 9%. Some of the video files on this drive are corrupted and unable to show the video. This is the effect of a corrupted video file caused by bad sectors. Let me play the file and let's see what happens. As you can see, the video file is not playing. The other effect can also be the file might play for some time then stops. There are some tools that can be used to repair some of the bar sectors. I'll make a complete video on that to find some ways around. This is the software I've been using for about 15 years now. It helps in giving daily information automatically when the computer boots to the desktop. It also prompts the user if the health of the drive starts dropping so that the necessary actions can be taken to copy information to avoid data corruption. The other benefit is also when buying a used drive. It gives you the health status of the drive and the option whether to buy the used drive or not. This is the software I use in testing any condition of any hard drive or SSD drive. 
I hope this video was helpful. Now you know the software to use to determine the health condition of your hard drive or SSD drive. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in another video.